back with another video. I just wanted to share with you guys, um, I guess like um, my uh, progress with school, what's going on in school, how I'm studying, um, how I'm staying organized, um, how I'm, um, you know, getting through school, how I'm um, staying active and staying focused and staying motivated um i mean i'm i'm four weeks in um and um uh, it's okay it's not bad um, my classes are interesting um like the material i'm reading it's like um it keeps me wanting to like turn the page and turn the page and turn the page and like really keep re reading it and um, retain what I'm reading. Um, I like it. I like my courses and um, I like how they're structured. Um, like normally during the week, how a typical week goes, um, we have probably like uh, four to five chapters to read, maybe two articles to read, and then a, um, like sometimes a video to watch. Um, and then after um, we get done with all the course material, we typically have to you know, either take a quiz, um, some kind of test, or um, write a discussion on the discussion form. And um, the discussion form, uh, you read what the topic is, and you normally have to write like a, a small paragraph or like two to three sentences um, answering the question, answering the, the topic discussion, and then you have to go back and read a, another student's post and reply to that. But um, how I've been staying focused, it's been, it's, it's really hard when you just, um, You know, there's no, there is a time schedule. So I take that back. It is a time schedule. You have to, um, all your assignments are due at the end of the week on a Friday. Um, one class, one of my classes, uh, everything's due Friday by midnight. And then another class, everything's due Friday by noon. So there is, there's, it's a time limit. You have to uh, make sure you're, you um, are focused on the time and you know, you structure your day, your time around the studying, reading everything and answering and taking the, answering the questions, answering the discussions, and then answering, uh, taking, having time to take the quiz and then, um, Summiting the quiz and all your work on time. So, um, you really do have to, um, you know, schedule and structure your time. Um, and that's what, um, I've been motivated to, uh, do it and get it done, but that has definitely been, um, a challenge for me to really, uh, get up at like, eight in the morning, nine in the morning, and really just sit down and read all day, study all day. When I get up, um, that's the last thing I'm worried about. Um, when I get up, you know, I kind of want to take my time getting up. Um, when I get up, I don't want to get straight to work. I don't want to just start working right away like my 
my brain's not on yet and um i'm sure you guys know like when you wake up out of bed it's just certain things you want to do um you want to go to the restroom you want to brush your teeth wash your face um you want to get something to eat you want to finish whatever you know um whatever just household things you didn't finish the night before like um getting getting to your textbook or opening up an article to read um starting a test starting a quiz is not the first thing you're worried about and so um i've been struggling with that a lot um i feel like maybe my day would go a lot smoother if i did just forget your life right now forget the fact that you need water and to hydrate yourself just start reading right now start studying right now um you know, I, I, I will start that. I will spend a couple weeks doing that and give you guys an update and let you guys know how that's been doing. But right now, um, I really, I procrastinate until like the last minute. I find everything else to do, then start studying. Um, <laughs> um, so that that's a challenge for me. Um, I just feel like I want my environment to be um, organized and um, clean and I w yeah my, my environment has to be like organized and clean before I can feel like I can sit down and read for like two or three hours and um, it's just I don't know I guess it's more of a pet peeve OCD type of thing I'm going through versus something that really needs to be done or I'm just simply using it as an excuse to not to not um, get my studying done so um, I'm gonna try I'm really gonna try to drop everything I do in the morning and just go straight to studying as soon as my feet hit the ground forget what I need forget what my body needs forget what my mind tells me that my body needs I'm just going to open up my book and start reading and I feel like oh when I get thirsty when I get hungry I'll just take a break from studying but um I get it even even though I may not do it um, the right way the proper way I definitely don't want to give anybody advice on finishing school the way I'm doing it like oh make sure make sure you eat first and make sure you get you a nice cup of water make sure you brush your teeth and wash your face and relax and 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 change your clothes and do your makeup and get all cute and relax and <laughs> And like you know do all this stuff before you start studying because it's not the right um, way to do things um, it may be um, it may relax me and get me motivated to do it but I think probably the proper thing to do is a as soon as you wake up grab your book and start studying that's probably what you know a successful student would probably be telling you um so i'm gonna try it um th this um these courses that i'm taking um i do believe i'm halfway through and i have four more weeks so i'm going for the next four weeks i'm gonna try to just like <laughs> wake up and go um and start reading start studying i'm not even gonna wipe the crest out of my eyes I'm just going to just start studying and see what happens um, and see if I um, see a change in my day a change in how I'm absorbing the information um, a change in 
you know my grades um because right now i i'm i'm passing i'm not getting a's and b's but i i'm definitely passing so um let's see let's see if um hitting the books the first thing in the morning is the answer like that's what i'm missing that's why i don't have an a right now in um you know all my classes um i uh, i don't know I, I just feel like as long as i can repeat what i read understood what i read um that's half the battle um I'm, I'm not perfect i don't expect to get every answer right to understand each discussion but um i i think i'm doing a uh, pretty fair and i i think i could keep going this way and and keep succeeding but um i'm definitely being hard on myself and um I want those A's. I want to get A's and B's and um, and just get every single question right and grab all the possible points. Um, I don't want to just, um, I don't know, I guess um, I feel like I'm just passing with the bare minimum right now. Um, it's not because I don't feel like I know the material. Um, I just feel like I'm not, I feel like those people that are getting those A's and B's are the people that actually put in um, the four, um, four plus hours of studying and they don't just read that article, that chapter once, but they've read it like two or three times. Um, in the beginning, I was doing that. Um, I was reading a chapter and I actually had time to go back and read it again. Um, but right now, um, the workload is, um, is a lot. Um, having to read four or five chapters and then having time to go back and reread those chapters just has not been happening the last couple of weeks um and i want to get back to that i want to finish this um these classes um very strong and um I want to continue with my next classes uh, like this, like being able to have plenty of time to study the chapters that I am assigned, currently assigned, and then just having free time to refresh my mind, refresh what I um, learned and obtained, and uh, reread it again. So when it comes to the test, when it comes to the discussion, I'd be like, oh, I know where to find this. It's, I know where to find it in my head. I know what they're talking about and just, you know, be able to like, uh, just write, just write, um, um, uh, you know, paragraph after paragraph, um, answer after answer and it's no problem. Um. But, um, uh, yeah, how, um, how I'm saying organized is, uh, you know, keeping everything, keeping everything in my email, um, all my login information, um, all my drafts, uh, from, uh, my discussions are in my email. It's just, you know, a secondary place to store things, my email. And then, of course, I save all my documents on the computer. Um, I make sure I title it what the professor, professor has um, titled it in their class, their, um, on their um, assignment board. Um, so I can easily, you know, um, read what they had posted read what they had titled it and be able to pull up the document in my um in my computer and um that's helping me a lot um just 
making sure you just don't try to like be fancy and give it another name call it some other um uh passage of what you read or uh, what was interesting to you just call it what the professor called it so you can easily pull it up verify it and match it and know that's what it is um um how i mean and i feel like how i've been staying motivated is i'm not staying motivated um i don't know the motivation is purely um just a uh, personal motivation like i i want to succeed um i want to finish it finish uh, my degree and um it's definitely personal but um just day-to-day -day motivation um again it, i feel like my motivation is goes is very close with my procrastination but i stay motivated by um just taking my time to get to um my work um i make sure i'm just um just relaxed and clear mind and in a good mood um when i get to work i don't um i don't start studying if i'm tired if i'm hungry if i'm just in a bad mood i just make sure like I i'll be sitting here like you need to study and then um I'm like, I don't know, something tells me like, no, it's it's not the time, it's not the right time, not yet, not yet. And I listen to that and I wait and I'm like, um, all right, there's nothing else that needs to be done. The last thing you need to do is study, you need to get to studying and I, I'll be in a good mood, a, a refreshing mood. And I'm like, all right, it's it's time to study. So um, how I'm staying motivated is by just making sure I study when I'm energetic and I'm in a good mood and um, and um, my mind is really focused on my studies. Like if my mind's focused on um, anything else, I just, um, I just don't, I, I handle what my mind is. I listen to my body and my mind and like uh, whatever is in the back of my head wanting to get done like oh i need to i don't know i need to call the doctor and make sure that my appointment is still blah blah whatever is bugging me in the back of my head i make sure i handle all of that before i sit down and study because i i'm sure you guys have done this while you're sitting down working all you can think about is that stupid thing in the back of your head that you didn't do so I make sure I clear out the back of my mind before I put more information in my mind. And um, it seems to be working for me. So I am kind of nervous of trying to change my whole method of studying and how I am by just studying as soon as I wake up, as soon as I open my eyes, don't take care of anything else, just studying. I mean, I just want to do it for experiment, experimenting purposes just to see if you know it really works and it's worth it um if i um get better results from it um but oh i guess i didn't tell you guys um because I, i'm i'm still like um i i only have about um i have like 24 credits i have 24 college credits to my name um so I, i'm not really like I'm almost halfway done, um, but um, my major is still up in the air. Um, it's most it has changed over the year, over the years. The first time um, I ever went to college, um, when I first graduated high school, I went to college for nursing. Um, I went to college twice uh, for nursing, actually, for a nursing uh, degree. Um, for um i guess my bachelor's and um and then once i even went to um went to college for um for culinary um 
so that got me a couple um, credits but um, I didn't take that serious I didn't think um, I mean I really enjoyed it it was really fun but that was the problem it was way too fun and I'm like you, you really don't get a degree you get um, you get a certificate um, you get a job you get a um, entrepreneurship um, um not an entrepreneurship excuse me you get an apprenticeship um you get a job you get lined up with a job and an apprenticeship um but um i don't know i i only did that for a, a, a term a semester and um i um uh, i didn't go through with it because it wasn't a, a degree uh, initially that's uh, why I was like maybe this isn't the best fit because I really need to go to college and finish a degree so now um, I'm at a school um, it's a, a, a two-year college um, I'm obviously going to be transferring I'm not going to stay there um, I mean I can't stay there and get anything further than an associate so I won't be staying there I, I'll be transferring um, from my school and um, going to a four-year college so I can get my bachelor's um, I'm trying to get my bachelor's in business and um, I haven't narrowed it down yet it's so many um, it's so many aspects and um, um, you know courses you can take um, to narrow down specifically what business you want to specialize in um, you know, it's real estate, it's uh, just business management, um, business operation, um, business administration, um, finances. Um, it's, it's just so many, um, you know, business degrees that um, you can get. Um, you know, um, specialize, um, you know, um, tailor your, your degree. So, um, I did meet with my, um, my advisor, um, my academic advisor. And, um, she said, um, you know, you got to get ready to transfer make sure you are ready to transfer your degree. And, um, and know what school you're going to go to so I, I'm probably going to definitely up um, grade you guys with that um, up, uh, update you guys um, on what school I choose because um, right now it, like I said I'm at a, um, a two-year college um, it's basic programs um, it's only associate's degree or some kind of cert, um, certification you can get. Um, there, you cannot get a bachelor's there. I do have to transfer, so I'm going to um, a, update you guys on that. And um, I, I'm just gonna. Uh, I, there's certain. There's obviously certain schools that my um, my um, credits will transfer to, so I have to make sure it's an accredited school first um, and then I have to make sure that school actually has um, the specialized major that I want to get a degree in um, so I, I'm definitely going to make sure it has a, a good business course and um, and take my time and research um, but it is almost like I said I have about um, like 26 24 26 credits so it is almost time for me to transfer um but um i have some time and um i'll let you guys know where i transfer to if you guys really want to know um it's not like i'm going to be doing like campus tours and stuff like that but you know you never know um i might show you i might um do a vlog or whatever and show you um, um, how um, how school give you an update on how school is going but um, 
I don't know. It's so um, it's so over overwhelming, and it's a lot going on. I I just kind of keep it private. I just try to keep my head down and uh, stay focused with it, honestly, because I don't want to get distracted and um and you know give up. I guess, but um, I I'm doing pretty good, and um, I don't I don't I definitely don't uh, see myself just giving up this time. Um, I'll just uh, let you know, like, where I'm at, um, how many credits I got, what grades I'm getting, and um, what courses I'm taking. But um, I just want to give you guys an update, um, let you guys know I am in school, I'm back in school, school's going okay, I'm, I'm passing, I'm I'm getting a, a decent grade, um, and I'm, I'm retaining things, um, I'm learning things, it's fun, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not having, um, a hard time, um, I could increase my study hours, that's about it, that's the, the worst, um, I could tell you it's like oh I I'm not putting in four plus hours um uh, I mean I'm definitely well that that sounds bad like I I'm putting in four plus hours but daily daily I want to be doing four hours of studying but um four plus hours of studying but um no I'm I'm doing about three to six um, hours a day, so, um, I'm doing, like, probably, um, I don't know, maybe, like, 15 hours, um, 15 hours a week, which I, I don't know, I, I don't, I, I, I don't know when's the last time I actually, um, sat and um did research like oh how how many hours are you really supposed to be sitting there and studying um uh what's the the typical um passing student um study time but um I, i'm doing pretty good uh daily and weekly if you calculate it all together um it, it's not bad um it's um It, it, it's not um it, it could I, I it could uh, improve but um it, it's not bad I, I'm definitely not like falling behind or not um finishing all my work um but yeah um if you guys have any questions you know just just ask me um like I said, I, I'm not an expert. I'm not the best student. I'm not a, um, you know, on uh, the dean's list or anything. But um, I'm uh, I'm doing um, I'm doing okay, and it's fun. And I just want to update you guys on um, on how everything was, and. Uh, I, I will tell you guys as soon as I pick a school and uh, transfer and um, and how close I am to getting my bachelor's. Um, so like I said, if you have any questions, just comment below. If you just want to comment, uh, just comment below. Um, I'll be back uh, with another video um, with more updates. Um, and just, uh, share with you guys when I can. Um, thanks for watching and, um, I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys next time.